بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایم ڈاکٹر فیض اللہ اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی شیل اسٹڈی دا لارنٹ سیریز دس سیریز واز انٹروڈیوسڈ بائی اے فرینچ میتھیمیٹیشین پیئر اینڈ فونس لارنٹ ان دا ایئر ایٹین ہنڈریڈ اینڈ فورٹی تھری اٹ جنرلائزز دا ٹیلر سیریز ایف اے فنکشن ایف آف زیڈ از ناٹ اینالیٹک ایٹ دا پوائنٹ زیڈ ناٹ دین we cannot use the Taylor series and hence we have to go towards the Laurent series. Now let us see the statement of this series. If f of z is some analytic function in this endless domain, then the function f of z can be expressed in this form, where the coefficients a, n and b n are given by these formulas and this is called the Laurent series. Let us see from the diagram in which we have two circles. This is the smaller one, Let, this is the center z0 and I represent the radius by small r. And now let us represent the radius of the other circle by capital R. Now if there is any point Z, then this point Z can be, then the function f of z at this point Z can be expressed in this form. In other words, z minus z naught is between small r and capital R is this region. So you can see this is like a ring, so that is called, this is called an annulus. And now let us expand this series. If I expand, I can get that f of z is equal to a naught plus a one z minus z naught plus a two z minus z naught square and plus up to so on. And then I have to expand the second part. So this is plus b1 divided by z minus z0 plus b2 divided by z minus z0 square plus up to so on. So you can see that this series has two parts. The first part, this one, is called the analytic part of the Lorentz series. And the second part, this one, is called the principle or the singular part of the Lorentz series. And now let us see uh, some particular examples uh, of this series. So particular examples are number one I will say that this is a Lorentz series. f of z is equal to 1 plus z plus up to so on. Okay plus z square plus up to so on and plus 1 over z plus 1 over z square and plus up to so on. So this is a particular Lorentz series. This one is the analytic part of this series while this one is the uh, principal part. So you can also write this thing like summation z power n where n is from 0 to infinity. And similarly, we can write this part as summation 1 over z power n, where n is from 1 to infinity. Similarly, let us take another Lorentz series whose center is at 1. So now I will write another Lorentz series. This is equal to 1 plus z plus 1 plus z plus 1 square and plus up to so on. 
and plus one over z plus one plus one over z plus one square and plus up to so on. So I can also write that this is equal to summation z plus one power n where n is from zero to infinity and plus summation one over z plus one power n where n is from one to infinity and you can see that this is the analytic part of the Lorentz series and this one is the principal part so its center is at minus one and now by using uh, this series we have to solve some some problems so one thing which I would like to tell you that don't be uh, afraid by these coefficients while solving the problem we don't need these formulas we have to use some other techniques so let us solve a problem in which we will represent a function into the Lorentz series expansion so let us start an example the example is determine the Laurent series series expansion of the function f of z is equal to 1 over z plus 1 into z plus 3 when it in the domain the domain is uh, z plus 1 is less than 2 but greater than 0 so we have to solve this problem now to to solve the problems you have to remember two things one you have to remember the binomial expansion by the binomial expansion let us revise that 1 minus z whole power minus 1 is equal to 1 plus z plus z square and plus up to so on and if this is plus 1 plus z whole power minus 1 then we have alternate sign 1 minus z plus z square and minus up to so on one other important thing is that just write a note that in solving the problems in solving the problems always always take take the greater greater value but in bracket I will write according according to the given domain is a term and what does it mean I will uh, I will explain this later but in each question we have to find this series or this series so to find this series and you can see that the first term is 1 so making the first term as 1 you must take something common so that one term must be 1 and in this in that case I will I will tell you that always take the greater value as common according to the given domain and then can use then you can use these expansions or uh, to solve the problem so now let us solve this problem to solve this problem first of all we have to split this question by using the partial fractions so by the partial fraction i will write that this is 1 over z plus 1 into z plus 3 this is equal to a over 
z plus 1 plus b over z plus 3. If I multiply with LCM, I will get that this is equal to a into z plus 3 plus b into z plus 1. If I put if I put uh, z is equal to minus 1 in this one. If I put minus 1 here, this is 0. If I put minus 1 here, then from 1 I can obtain that a is equal to 1 over 2. And if I put z is equal to minus 3, then this part is 0. If I put minus 3, minus 3 plus 1, this is minus 2. So from 1 I can obtain that b is equal to minus 1 over 2. And now if I use these values in this expansion, I will get that my function f of z is this one. f of z in this case is given by a is 1 over 2. So I have to write 1 over 2 into z plus 1. And b is minus 1 over 2. So I have to write 1 over 2 into z plus 3. And now I have to find the long series of this function. And the long series you can see from the question that we have to find z plus 1. So the first one is already uh, in the long series found. So we have to solve this one. So we can write that this is equal to 1 over 2 into z plus 1. And from here I can write first of all I have to, to obtain z plus 1. So from here I can get z plus 1 and plus 2. Just split 3 into 2 plus 1. And now you can see that in solving the problems always take the greater value according to the given domain as a common. So now we, we have to look at the domain. In the domain, z plus 1 is less than 2, which means that 2 is greater. So I have to take 2 as a common from here, and I will get that this is equal to 1 over 2 into z plus 1 minus now this is if I take 2 common, 2 to 2 to the is 4, so I will get 1 here and plus here I will get z plus 1 divided by 2. And now I have to do some uh, simplifications. So after the simplification, I will get that f of z is equal to 1 over 2 into z plus 1 and minus 1 over 4 into 1 plus z plus 1 divided by 2 whole power minus 1. And now I can use the binomial expansion on this one. So by the binomial expansion we can get that this is equal to 1 over 2 into z plus 1 and this is minus 1 over 4 and if I expand this I will get 1 and minus z plus 1 divided by 2 plus z plus 1 divided by 2 whole square and plus minus up to so on. Now let us multiply minus inside so we can get that f of z is equal to 1 over 2 into z plus 1 and this is now minus 1 over 4. This is plus z plus 1 divided by 8. And now this is minus z plus 1 square and 4 for the is 16 divided by 16 plus up to so on. And this is the required Lorentz series. And you can see that this one is the principal part while this one is the um, analytic part of the Lorentz series. 
So uh, to get more concept, I will solve some more problems. So the lecture is still continuous. See you after the break.